Today's activity is called Exploding Numbers. We're using simple things like stickers, paint, and other manipulatives to teach your child early math concepts. Manipulatives are simply something that children can use with their hands. It really builds those fine motor skills and allows them to really bring the mind and the body together. I'm gonna to show you how to make this a fun, simple math activity for your children. Silas, today we're gonna to do something called exploding numbers. We're gonna use paint, we're gonna use pom-poms. You ready? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Mm -hmm. This is a really simple craft that you probably already have all the materials on hand for. We get to do numbers. You like numbers, don't you? Wait, what? zero, yeah. one, two, three again? You're right, zero, one, two, and three. This is how we created our exploding numbers. First, we took a piece of paper and we just printed out some numbers on it. I cut them out so that Silas could attach them to a page. All right, so take your glue. I know. Oh, you know, huh? You're so smart. All right, put the glue all over that. Stick it anywhere you want on the page. You can add something like stickers. Simply ask them how many dots go along with each number. Now we're gonna put stickers. Stickles by the number. That's right, you need how many right here? One. And then? Lots of boys. Right here. Two. There you go. Okay. Now six. Six. What, what color That's do you want for six? Nine. This craft is a really great way to teach number sequencing as children get to recognize numbers and also how they flow in order. It also teaches subitizing, which is the recognition of looking at numbers in a set. So when they look at three stickers, they recognize immediately that there's three there. How many bright pinks do you have? Four. Let's count them. Four. Right? Three. And how Four. many purples? Four. So how many purple and pink all together are there? How many do you have? Can I count all of them? Let's count just the pink and purple, and then you can count all of them if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're right, six. And then this is where your little one can really get their creative juices flowing. Put some paint simply on a plate for them, and then they can go to town. They can smear, they can blot, whatever they want to do to create their exploding numbers. Okay, you can paint. And you can either dab it on, or you can make streaks, whatever. You can experiment and do what you want. See on the outside, they painted all around the outside of the number. Paint the dot too, the dot will show up too. Ooh, I like that, Silas. What color do you want to add to it? Wait, I need a hmm. couple. I can use, mix them. You can mix it if you want, you can experiment. Yeah. Just like they had orange and yellow. There you go. Ooh, I like that, Silas. Very creative. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I do number six? Wait, can I mix them? Sure. They could even use these pom poms if they wanted to to paint with. Then you simply peel off the numbers, go from this side, and you have a beautiful piece of artwork. Look at your exploding numbers! Do ah. you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Silas, you could see the little light bulbs going off in his head as he looked at the stickers and could count all the objects. Or when he saw the colors in the paint, he would go around and say, this color is this, and this is this color. Blue, blue, blue. What is that? Hmm, what does it look Wait, like? Wait, yellow and orange mix. It does look like a mix. He also started adding all the things together on the plate. He really had a lot of fun doing it. You can also take some pom-poms, which are really fun. Fun for little fingers to hold these and use those little fine motor skills. Have them put on the page, corresponding with each number. This is also a great way to teach your little one how to do some simple addition. See your squishy pom-poms over here? Yeah. Okay, how many pom-poms equal the number zero. Would you use any pom-poms? No, zero. Because it's nothing, right? Okay, so how many do we need for this number? One. All right, find a pom-pom. Oranges. Oh, you can use orange. How many do you have? Two. Two. And what number are you gonna put them by? Two. Two. Good job. Ooh, very creative on each side of the number. Using manipulatives is a great way for children to connect the brain to the body. It's something that they can visualize so that they don't have to just think in their head about what you're speaking about, but they can actually see it as well. You can count it. Twelve. <laughs> I 
think of it in my head. <laughs> Silas obviously had so much fun doing this activity. He especially loved painting as he got to choose what colors he got to paint on the numbers. So grab some paint, paper, and have fun with your child exploring numbers. Yay, look, look here, Silas. Cheese! Cheese.